female camelids um, originated in North America, in the Americas, but went across the Bering Straits over um, and became your dromedary and your bacterian camel. Um, they're all true camels. You can breed all of these together and get fertile babies. They breed some pretty funky, messed up looking animals, but you <laughs> get babies. Um, they just look different because they're like dogs. You can hear the humming right on cue. Yeah. Um, they can make a clucking noise. They can make a screaming noise as an alarm call. Um, the difference between a llama and an alpaca, the alpacas were kept by the royalty and the kings in Peru in South America. They were kept on the mountains, herded down once a year, sheared and released. So they were raised like sheep. They were never People, shut up! They were raised like sheep, so they were eaten as a source of food. Uh, their fiber was used uh, for making clothing. This hat is made out of my llama's fiber. Oh. And um, they were also kept as herd birds. The llamas are very protective animals. Most herd animals are you the sister? What? Are you sick or ill? Yeah. Ones? They'll push them out because they know that they're not competitors. Mamas on the other hand will band together, put their life on the line, and protect the weak and innocent. It's a very noble animal. That's why these llamas are so good for senior homes. I take them into special programs and dementia wards and schools. And if they see a child in a wheelchair, they'll go up to that child and be.